I'm not obsessed with coffee, but I really love coffee. I'll get that out of the way. Right away. And let me arrange some of my, uh, my stuff here that I want to show you. I'd like to tell you a few things about coffee and, uh, and why I think I make really good coffee. I'll give, you, give you some tips. Um, how many coffee drinkers are here? Everybody, everybody, everybody a coffee drinker? Hi, man. Not a coffee drinker? Well, most of you are. How about a serious coffee drinker? Every day, coffee. Most of you. Uh, almost everybody. I, I have two cups of coffee every morning at, at home, uh, two mugs, and I really, that's it. I really, really enjoy my coffee. Uh, coffee, I gotta, coffee originated in Africa. And there's you know, a story that a Yemeni goat herder would take his goats up a hill, this is a legend, and these goats would eat the fruit off a coffee tree. And they, people would notice that these, these goats were very happy, they were very nervous, they were very alert. Coffee is grown at altitude in this, in this range between the tropics of Cancer and uh, Capricorn, usually on volcanic soil, which really produces the best coffee. And it's very, uh, very labor intensive to produce. I, I need to check my notes, I'm sorry. Let me tell you, a coffee tree is about the height of a, of a human being. It has a small fruit on it, it's a, it looks like a cherry, same color. Inside that, that cherry, and they're called, usually called cherries by the growers, are two seeds, those are the coffee seeds, coffee beans. They're surrounded by a mucilage, a goo. And right next to the seed is a very thin, translucent skin, which has to come off also. Now, large growers are usually mechanized, and they take, they've taken a lot of the labor out of this thing. The smaller guys usually belong to co-ops, and they also they are able to share their machinery with uh, other growers. Some of the, the really fine coffee comes from the little guys that grow their coffee and produce a lot of the organic coffee also. And they do this, they do this manually. Uh, I want to show you, when I get into this, I'm going to pass this around. I have some green coffee beans that are unroasted. Here I'm going to do this, maybe you can just pass them back. You can compare them to some roasted coffee beans. See the difference. You know, it's really hard to trust a place that where, where grande is, is medium and tall is small, right? <laughs> I grow my own coffee. I don't grow my own coffee, but I roast my own coffee. I buy coffee beans from all over the world on the internet, primarily from Central America. I, I love Guatemalan coffee. Also from Costa Rica, some Chiapas coffee from Mexico. Indonesian coffee is excellent. And I want to show you the, uh, my, I, my coffee roaster with my, I have a photograph here. I paid about $100 for this coffee roaster. I've been through a lot of coffee roasters. I've been doing this for about 10 years. And uh, right here is the, is the, the bowl where the, where the coffee beans go into, the green coffee beans. I put about 170 cc's in there. And when they're roasted, you can see I go right to this line here with the green beans. And when they're roasted, as you can see here, the, the bowl is full. So it's grown about two times. This is removable. Up above is a chaff collector because when the hot air is going through this, these coffee beans, it's being caught up here in a, there are little compartments in here. And there's a screen up here. And it's very, uh, this thing is very top heavy. Now the most important part of this is the base here. This, this does all the work. This is where there's a, there are heating coils in here. There are motors and blowers. There's an adjustment for the volume of, of the air. Uh, also the uh, uh, velocity of the air. There's an off and on switch. There's a timer, which I don't pay much attention to because I watch the beans as they're, as they're, uh, as they're growing, as, excuse me, as they're, as they're roasting. And during the process of roasting, after about two minutes, you start the beans. The beans are pretty heavy. They get lighter, they start bouncing around. Well, I'm adjusting the air because I have the hair on full blast when, they're, when the beans are green and as they start moving around, I diminish the air. And after about two minutes, you start hearing pop, like popcorn. Just, just goes on for about 30 seconds and then it goes away. 
about five minutes later, you get a second pop. You get a same thing. And one of the important parts of the roasting, when I get to the point where my coffee is just absolutely perfect and I'm ready to ready to go, I turn. There's a switch on here. I turn off the heat. I turn on cold air, and the cold air will rush through and cool the coffee down. When I first started doing this, I had a very primitive coffee roaster, and I would actually take my beans and I would put them in the freezer for a little while to cool them off. That's, that's, this is kind of a cult thing, but it's really caught on. And I really recommend, if you really want great coffee at home, roast your own coffee. And if anybody wants to do this, I'll be glad to advise you. There, there are some downsides to it. It stinks, because up here all this stuff is burning, and you, you don't have that great coffee smell. But when you're done and your beans, they have that coffee smell. And finally, with my almost obsession with coffee, I've tried so many different coffees. I found a coffee that is very, very close to tasting the way coffee smells. I think that's the ideal you can think about. To, to summarize, I hope you learned a little about coffee. I want you to roast coffee at home. Uh, and you'll come up with some really great, great coffee. And I want to read an ode to, to coffee. And this is called In Praise of Coffee. This is an Arabic poem written in 1511. O oh, coffee, thou dost dispel all care. Thou art the object of all the desire to the scholar. This is the beverage of the friends of God. 